What happened, man? Thought they were going to come in and throw me out. Oh, there goes Alan, tail tucked. Good. Okay, now can I have my public records request? <laughs> It's all good. Buckle and bounce, baby. I appreciate it. I will also take that recording that you're making. I'll take the recording you're making as oh, well. I don't have to give you the I don't recording. Have to give you mine. Yes, you do. It's a public record. There are records that you're requesting. I believe they're policies that you have to request. It's not true. Did you, did you research that on that? It's a law. It's not a policy. Can you say It's a law. law. Yeah, California Public Information Act. Real simple. Okay. says you can give it written or verbally. You sure. go look it up. But that's yeah. not your place, bro. If yeah. there's not a law broken, yeah, you guys can get back to yeah, work. I don't need you guys. Yeah, I just so need my public information. I don't need to be told their, poli their policy yeah. doesn't matter. The law matters. Okay. What's going on, Bay Fam? It's your boy, Bay Area Transparency. We're back at it once again. Man, oh, man. I went ahead and went to the school district. These are the people who run the education system. The people that teach these kids about our country, about the constitution, about our rights. I even asked them questions about the constitution and if they taught the kids about the constitution and they said yes. And then I asked them why they don't understand that we have a first amendment right to record in public. And they said that they think that I don't know what my rights are and that I'm a little off on what my rights are. It was absolutely insane. The police showed up, set them straight. We actually went back twice and got a whole nother video with police officers who didn't really know what they're talking about. You'll see that video a little bit later after this one for sure. But anyways, watch this video. It's crazy, absolutely insane. Bad attitudes from our public servants and they did not want to stop. It was crazy. Follow us on Facebook, Bay Area Transparency Official. Follow us on Instagram, at Bay Area Transparency. Subscribe, like, share. Get this video in front of people. It needs to be there. It needs to be in front of people. They need to be seeing it. Bay Area Transparency, baby. I'm out. Just before you guys are coached into making or do make yourself an emotional and uneducated decision, I got this from the California State Board of Education website as well as the U.S. Department of Education's website. The district prohibits retaliation against anyone who files a complaint against an employee or reports an employee's inappropriate conduct. I am here putting out this video, publishing it, reporting your inappropriate conduct, and complaints will be filed later. Any employee who retaliates against any such complainant, reporter, or other participant in the district's complaint process shall be subject to discipline. Don't be coached into making an uneducated decision that may result in the loss of your job. This video is part of the First Amendment and free press and the laws protect me as a journalist and reporter on your inappropriate actions. Let's get to it, Bay fam. I like that sign. That was a cool sign. Oh, awesome. Hi, how you doing? No, I'm good. Appreciate it. Can I ask you why you're in here taking pictures? Uh, yeah, just taking some, uh, snapping some quick pictures. Anything, any particular entity you're taking pictures of? No, no, just myself. Just, just me personally. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm good. She asked me the same thing. Appreciate it. Oh, they gotta come out. Let them out. How's it going? No. Oh, good, good. Go ahead, man. I didn't want to have you hit me with the door. Oh no, I'm good. They've asked me already. I'm good. I don't need any help. What do you tell me? What you doing? Taking pictures. For this is something I got going on. You're making, making us feel uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to make you guys feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm Alan. Reader. Your name? Oh, I don't want to shake hands, man. I give you a bump, though. <laughs> I don't like to shake hands, What's germs your name? and all that stuff. Your name? Oh, I don't give it. Okay. I don't want to give it. We're about ready to close, so if you could, you could go ahead and move on, that'd be great. Cool. What time you guys close? Four o'clock already? Yeah. 
Okay, Bay fam, let's go ahead and stop that right there real quick. Let's look up the board policy manual. The Board of Education expects district employees to maintain the highest ethical standards, behave professionally, follow district policies and regulations, abide by state and federal laws, and exercise good judgment when interacting with students and other members of the community. Does this seem like they are upholding the highest ethical standards or behaving professionally at all in any way? shape or form and let's go ahead and move on to my next point right here if we look down on the list and this is their professional standards look at number nine being dishonest with students parents guardians staff or members of the public being dishonest they were dishonest with me because they did not like my first amendment right to be there and gather footage of their conduct whether their actions are appropriate or inappropriate was all up to them their actions were inappropriate the entirety of this interaction it gets worse and worse and worse and you're gonna see it let's keep going four o'clock okay cool yeah um yeah once it's uh once you guys are closed i'll go ahead and go ahead and be there why is that? Because you don't want to give me your name and you're taking pictures. You're not telling me any of your business. Well, <laughs> exactly. My I don't. I don't have to tell you my business. Well, so why would I do that? This is our. This is our business here. You're in our business. You're taking pictures, and I'm asking you to leave now. Okay. Well, I, I, like I said, you guys are open. Um, yeah, and but you're so. not. You're not telling us anything about your business or why you're taking pictures. We don't feel comfortable with you being in here. So. Oh, I, I, yeah. I understand you're not feeling comfortable. I don't have to give you guys any information. I mean, okay. this is—it's not your business, right? I'm, I know, and I'm—I'm—I'm denying—I'm denying your request. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. you, you can call the police. So I don't think there's much they can do. It's a public office, right? I don't think you're—I don't think you're allowed to come in and take pictures, not tell what, us who you are. What's your position your here? Business. I'm the associate superintendent. Oh, associate superintendent, and uh, you don't know that there's no rules against this. There are no laws. Even if you guys had a policy, it really wouldn't matter. Yeah. 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 Uh, be my guess. Doesn't matter. What was your last name, Alan? I'll tell you my cool. name. I'm trying to cooperate with you. Well, I'm co I'm co I'm being cooperative. Don't I don't have name. to. I don't have to tell you guys that stuff. I don't wish to, so, right? I, don't want to I can. I can tell you. I don't want you here. That's the thing. If you don't. Like you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. I do. No, no, no. You're a you're a right you're a public employee. Yeah, for sure. And and not give us absolutely. any information. Uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's it's the First Amendment. I can help you with it. As a matter of fact, yeah. <laughs> In our place of business, mm -hmm. you it's not your. Here. This is a thing. It's not your. You have it confused. It's not your place of business. It's the people's, right? The people's money pays for this. And so if we want to come in and check you guys out and and make sure you guys are being transparent, which it seems like you're scared of something right now. Uh, we are allowed to do that. We actually have a right to do that. It's not allowed, right? Okay, you don't have to buy it. Don't buy it. I'm just telling you the way it is. So, and the p police will tell you the way it is too right now. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. You guys just don't have a choice. Well, what are you afraid of? You're not willing I'm not. To share I'm not afraid of anything. I I just don't have to. So I just choose not to. Oh, okay. Is what it is. So I guess I yeah. didn't have to share my Go information ahead. with She's you. She's trying to get out, but. What was that? I guess I didn't have to share my information with you. Either. No, no, not true. Are you recording me right now? Of course, yeah, yeah. No, yes. not true. You actually you did. Have to ask for my permission to record? Not, at, not at all. No. What did you do? I'm being combative. That's funny. No, no. Yeah, uh, you do have to give your name. Actually, all you guys do, and I'm gonna get them all because you guys are all uh, public employees. So your name, everything's public record. All your guys' names are all public record. You guys don't have an expectation of privacy in public. Since you're public employees, you guys are under the scrutiny of the public at all times. And should be. Yeah, you don't have to be sure about it. I'm just telling you what. She'll probably get off the phone and just tell you right now. So, anyways, what was your name? Is there anything I can help you with, sir? Your name, yeah. What was your name? I'm Andrea. Okay, good to meet you. What's your position here? I'm the associate superintendent. I thought he was. Two, two, two different ones. Oh, cool. Okay. And what was your name, ma'am? Teresa, thank you. And I have her name, so I don't need to ask. But she's getting educated on the phone right now. And then she'll educate you guys since you didn't want to listen to me. I'm not getting educated. I'm actually just waiting for the officer to show up. No. Thank you. They'll educate you. Don't worry. Was there a question I'll help you asked, you. No, no. I'm just in here going to take some pictures and, and uh, record around the building. And that's pretty much that. Is there a concern that you have or something? 
something we can help you with? Not, not yet. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, there was. I mean, there was one when uh, you, you guys first contacted me, but no, not right now. I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll get some public records before I leave. Make sure I get all your guys' names and work hours, salaries, all that good stuff written down. What should we have a right to and um, compile what I got going on? So <coughs> other than that, no, I don't need any help. All the salary schedules are actually on the website. For sure. Yeah, yeah, and we can just do a request form and get a hard copy of them as well. Mm -hmm. by that. What was but that? I didn't hear the last part. Public yeah, yeah. And yeah, what was the last part? Right, 10 days. Yeah, I know all about the law. Yep. Yeah, you guys have technically a, a room for an extension. Yeah, I, I know how it works. I can probably almost quote it to you verbatim if I needed to. So. Let me ask you guys a question. This is the school district for the entire South Lake Tahoe. And do you guys teach about the history of the country at all? And the Constitution or anything like that? Yeah? And we don't think that we have a First Amendment, right? Is that what you said earlier? I don't, I don't feel comfortable with you in here running mm -hmm. your camera. Right. Not telling me what your name is. Well, and I... Knowing that you can just park right here. I can. And not leave our facility when I've asked you to leave our facility. Yeah, no, I don't, ha I don't have to leave the facility. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. This is public, it's paid for by public tax dollars. Your whole check actually is paid for by public tax dollars. It's a stretch of what you're thinking your rights are. You can think. <laughs> well, you can think, but I know, buddy. <laughs> that's fine. That's so I'm, fine. I'm sad that it's come to this because you're not even I'm sad that you guys don't know. communicate with us. Of what you need, what you want. Well, yeah, I and said, it might make it a I, I, I did actually, I said, I'm going to take some pictures. And then I said, I'll probably get some, some records, right? So I communicated very clearly. But what you wanted to know is why, what's your name, what are you doing, where you, all this other stuff. You don't need to know any of that. I communicated to you what I, what I chose to. See, there's a difference. Like I said, I'm not, I'm a private public member. You guys are public employees, so you don't really have that privacy. And I can tell you the laws that back it up if you want. There's an old law, 1969, it's Katz versus U.S., and it's the first law, actually, that, that said, uh, talked about a reasonable expectation of privacy in public places. Since then, the courts have ruled over and over that there is no reasonable expectation of privacy in public places, being this public lobby. And you guys being public employees, like I said, you definitely don't have a right to privacy in the public place, right? So that's kind of the way it works. Look it up. You can look them up all you want. I'm gonna. I gotta finish what I'm doing, and and I'll be back with you no, up you're here. Not okay. To go past that door. What door? I won't, door I'm not gonna go past any doors. I'm gonna give some shots down the hallway. Yeah, I won't go in the doors. I'm not looking to go in any areas I can't be in. So, oh here, Let's see that there's. She locked the door, even though I said I, I wasn't going to go in any doors. There's public restrooms yeah. back here. She's back on the phone again with assuming, assumably the police, I guess. Yeah. What'd they say? What'd they say? I'm sorry? I was just trying to hear what they said. I was trying to get in on the conversation. Okay, cool. Thanks. Awesome. Let's get the work area. Somebody else, you ever? Yeah, you get permission. You do not have my permission to record. You do not have my permission to record me either. Can I have it? No. No. Oh, okay. Um, so, again, no expectation of privacy in public. That's kind of the way it works. For instance, and I'll give you an example. Somebody's out on the street, they're recording, taking pictures. And you're across he the street. Oh, that's me. funny. <laughs> that's cute. Okay. Again, no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. I think you guys are d majorly misinformed, and hopefully, when the police come here, they will let you know as well. Uh, <laughs> The superintendent's not law, and he's not a, a law officer, and he doesn't know. Actually, I know this law more than most police. So, 
and attorneys and all kind of stuff. So it's called the First Amendment, right? There's a right to speech. Do you guys know the five elements of the First Amendment? Do you know them? I'm not interested in speech, press, law, religion, you know, to freedom to assemble, society. freedom to redress gov- right. grievances. Especially when you're making our staff feel uncomfortable. Well, that's what I'm saying. You guys, I, I understand being uncomfortable. I've told you what I'm doing. I told you that I don't have, I'm not here harming you. I'm filming. I'm, I'm recording film. I mean, I guess I'm showing my age a bit. But yeah, I'm recording. So that's it. You, you guys not in da- are not in danger. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we're all in public. Even if you, well, you guys are working, so te- technically you probably have a uh, policy that says you can't. But even if you guys to, were to record me, you guys, I, I couldn't be like, I, matter of fact, do you have a camera in here? That would be like me saying, I don't want you to be on this. I don't want to be on this camera. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. So. They're, they're leaving. Where'd he go, man? I don't know where do you want, where where they went for you. He's over there. The police that's over there. Sean, can you go ask the police man to come to this office? Come in here? Yeah. Thank you. Run. Oh, I thought I'd help you guys. So yeah, this lady says she's just talked to the superintendent and oh, I, I have no right to be here and I'm trespassing and I need to leave in a public lobby. <laughs> in public. It's in public. You can't. It's your business hours. I mean, that's the way it works. It's right online too. It's pretty simple. If you guys did, we would make sure you're held accountable for that. So because you guys get paid public tax dollars to have these doors open for the public. So anyways, I'll move on to my next piece of business. I need to get public records from you guys. I want to do a, a public records request per the California Public Information Act. Perfect. So, so we could take that in writing. I can do it verbally too. Yeah, so if you guys just want to take it down, I'll let you know what I need and then uh, we, you guys got 10 days for that one. Writing verbally. We're allowed both. Not allowed, I have a right to do both. And I can tell you why. Since you're education, right, you should be educated. There's blind people, people that can't read, people that can't see, people that can't write, dyslexic people, illiterate people. You guys have to write down the public records request. So that's why it's there. No, no, I'll have you guys write it for me. I'll do it verbally. It would need to come you. do you do have to. Yeah. Just letting you know. If you wanna if you wanna violate the, the law, go ahead. We'll open up the the school district to a lawsuit. It's fine with me. It's dumb, but it's fine with me. So they're not going to take my public records request. It has to come from me, even though I'm trying to do it verbally. I, Yeah, I'd look up the law. It's, it says written or verbally in the law, literally. So, but this is the, this is the, I know a lot about it, apparently, right? Why don't you just tell us what it is? Okay, do you want to write it down? I don't, I don't need you to direct me on how to take it. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't direct you. I said, did you want to write it down? I don't want you to forget it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just don't want to. No, why yeah. it's No, it's I can give it, give it verbally. Sure, give it verbally. Yeah, I definitely can give it verbally. So that's what I'm trying to do. do it. So all your first and last hey, names, everybody. positions, yeah. salaries, so work days, work hours will be the first thing. Do we got that? So remember, you got ten days after this. So. Well, I'll be back in ten days to pick it up. So, yeah, if it's not ready, I'll come. I'll come back the 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 next couple days, and that's fine. I know it's not notify me when it be ready. You have ten days to comply, and you have room for an extension. You don't get to just do it whenever you want to do it. I know you just you shouldn't. You don't know what you're talking about. So, um, anyways, do you you guys want the next thing? I'm giving it verbally. I'm giving it verbally. What's your email? Do you guys have a card with an email? I can email it. Okay, cool. And now, now I'll finish giving it verbally, and and then uh, maybe I'll send a follow-up email so you guys know where to send it when it's ready. How about that? That way I don't have to come back. And I want you to be aware that we charge for it. Oh. And the time that we. 
you can charge if it costs you money to get the records. Says Again, I know the law very well. No, no, time doesn't count. It says it right in the law. You guys have to spend money on it. These, 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 these ladies are just, just mean and mad for no reason. I don't understand it. You just compli- com- just do your job. Do your job. That's what we want you to do. I've told you guys. I have a First Amendment, right? You guys say you feel uncomfortable. I'll give you another case law. Fordyce versus Seattle says that your feelings don't trump my rights. Plain and simple. Look it up, bud. I'm just trying. I'm, tr- I'm being nice. I'm trying to help. I could tell all you guys to f- off if I wanted to, but I'm being nice about everything. No, I can use profanity. F- off. See, I can totally do it. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Do you- Now he's what? That, uh, yeah. It's again, it's First it's Amendment. It's called freedom of speech. Wow. And there's a case law on that that says I can use that specific word to let you know how I'm feeling. It's covered so under the First Amendment. Doesn't matter. Like doesn't matter what you accept. See, this is the problem. You're too used to being the boss. You're not the boss right now. The public's the boss. You work for the public, public servant, public servant, public servant, public servant. I mean, That's it. If you guys are not doing your job and telling me that I can't say this and can't say that and I'm just showing you that I very well can. That's all I'm doing. I would have I told you, I'm being nice. I'm trying to de-escalate and show you guys the law and tell you guys the law so you could do your job. Why? Because I won't listen to you? And using profanity is not being making a point. I know I can use profanity. So record your <laughs> Oh, these people just don't get it. Listen, you're public servants. You should be under the scrutiny of the public. You guys should, as a matter of fact, I'm going to work on a bill. I'm going to work on a bill that says public employees must wear body cams every minute without muting them while they're on duty. So get used to that. Good luck. Oh, we'll work on it. Trust me. Well, we already got it on police. So this is, this is the problem. Masculine energy thinks she's the boss. As well as her, too. Masculine energy, and they think they're the boss. That's the problem. I didn't call anybody names. I said the energy is masculine, and you guys think you're the boss. That's all I said. You guys need to do your job. So are we going to finish with my public records request or not? I'm not sending it. I'm giving it verbally. The law clearly states I can give it verbally. Pretty simple. Did you talk to the police? Hi. Well, he was just out there. (laughs) <laughs> uh, these people are something else. They just don't understand their place, right? That's that's all. Like they don't understand their place. That's the problem. We need them to understand their place more. Like I said, uh, too used to being telling these people that work here what to do. So when I come in, they think they get to tell me what to do. It just doesn't work that way. Okay. So and they're denying me my public records request. And so for the people, yeah, I'm trying to get. I don't have to. I can give it verbally. The law says it. If you're not letting me do it verbally, you guys are in violation. I'm just letting you the way it works. Yes, you are. No, I've I've voiced a bunch. What did I ask for? You asked for names, salaries, positions of the people in here. Mm -hmm. All information of which is online. And let me tell you, I don't have to repeat it. But we can do it and make you guys give it to us. That's the bottom line. Yeah, the public is we, the people you work for. Uh It's that simple. This is really easy stuff. Like I said, man, masculine energy just don't want to... All we ask is that you guys do your job, but the issue is my camera. That's the problem. Well, it is what it is. We got a nice little recording going on on the phone there. I think it's cute. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Oh Can boy. You help the radio? Uh, no, I haven't heard back from Carl yet. They're doing All right. And they tried to say they, they're going to charge for the public records request for names and salaries because it takes time. That's not the way that the law says that it can happen. What they can charge for is papers, but I'll just get an electronic copy. They can charge for copies, that stuff. They can't charge for their people's time. That's literally what they get paid to do. Notice how the cop out there is not coming in?
What happened, man? Thought they were going to come in and throw me out. Oh, there goes Alan, tail tucked. Good. Okay, now can I have my public records request? <laughs> it's all good. Buckle and bounce, baby. I appreciate it. Oh, these people. All right. Uh, the next part of the public information request will be all your guys' uh, emails for the school district, for the people that are here, as well as any numbers that you guys have, phone numbers. Um, if the school district pays for the cell phones, pays for the service, I want the numbers. I will also take that recording that you're making. I'll take the recording you're making as oh, well. I don't have to give you the I don't recording. Have to give you mine. Yes, you do. It's a public record. You've just made one. So, Hello. pretty simple. Very easy. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Good pay area transparency, right? So, we already explained to the staff here that <laughs> this is a county building and you are allowed to be in here. All right, but uh, they do have their own policies and whatnot that they have to follow as far as like providing records and things of that nature. So if there are records that you're requesting. I believe they're policies that you have to request. It's not right? true. Did you, did you research that? on? It's a law. It's not a policy. Can you say uh, it's a law? law? Yeah, California Public Information Act. Real simple. Okay. Says you can give it written or verbally. You sure. go look it up. But that's yeah. not your place, bro. If yeah. there's not a law broken, yeah, you right. guys can get We're, back to yeah, work. Regardless. I don't need you guys. Okay, Bay fam, let me stop that right there and let you know. The reason why I responded that way to this officer when he said that is because he is law enforcement. He's not feelings enforcement. He's not policy enforcement. We say this all the time. And I felt like what he should be doing is telling the school district that they need to comply with the California Public Information Act, not telling me that I need to comply with their policies. That, my friend, is bass Backwards. Let's get back to it. Yeah, I just so need my public information. I don't need to be told their poli their policy doesn't matter. The law matters. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I that's it. I hear what you're saying. And I'm Pretty gonna, simple. I don't want to argue with you at all. Um, okay. But I'll see you later then. <laughs> well, we have a right to be here as well. You do, but I don't. I don't need to hear what you got to say. I don't need okay, the directives or stuff. We'll okay. Yeah. Close. Hang out, man. Yep. Right. Do your thing. Uh, what about ready to close? So if you could, you could go ahead and move on. That'd be great. Cool. What time you guys close? Four o'clock already? Yeah. Four o'clock? Okay, cool, yeah. Hang out, man. Yep, right. do your thing. Uh, name and badge number? Officer Weens, South Lake Tahoe Police Department, badge N number 239. Name and badge? Sergeant Brock, number 199. Cool, and what about this uh, fella here? Name and badge, bud? How's it going? Officer Simon, badge number 224. Cool, appreciate it. Is that guy with you or no? Yeah. Cool. Hey, Mr. Moore. All right, guys, not with them. So we got another public record. So I'm going to say this on camera, don't erase it. You two just made a public record. I'm going to request it. If you do, it's a law. They could probably tell you you're, you're violating the law if you do. So, all right. You guys need to, like, if you guys have business to attend to one hunt in the back room or something like that. What? He only has access to the areas that uh, the public has access, access to because he's not an employee. He's not an employee of the, of the school district or anything like that. So he doesn't have access to any part of the building that he wishes, only the areas that are accessible to the public. So at 4.30 when you guys close, close your door, then he's required to be out of the building at that point. So if you guys want to hang out for the next... Oh, no, it's four, remember? Fucking <laughs> liars, man. That's the problem. I thought it was four, Alan. What happened? We closed at four. What happened to that? I don't have to talk to you. Didn't do a good job. Know you, you know, no, no, not true. You guys have to. You guys have to provide me service. That's actually not true, and I need my public records request. But the video gets put out. I just point the camera. Act how you act, man. So I'm trying to verbalize my public records request. Are you guys gonna finish taking it or not? So we're gonna get this guy's name. Oh, what was your name, bud? That took the picture. What was your name? I need to figure out how to get that record by, okay, so he's going to deny his name too. Ignorance. Yeah, you do. I need a public records request. Somebody has to help me with it. What do you want? I've given half of it to him, them. He just took a picture of me. It's a public record. I want the picture. Okay, so I'll take uh, his picture, and then this lady here was audio recording, or she was video recording with her phone down, so I'll take that recording as well. Appreciate you guys coming when there wasn't a crime, because we don't know what we're doing. All right, somebody want to take my public records request? Is it going to be you, buddy? 
All right. Just showing showing how they act and the issues here. They don't understand what's going to happen after this comes out. That's all that matters. This guy's probably one of the most ignorant ones. He just laughs. You could tell he's angry, getting red. But there's it's pointless. Take the public records request, and I could probably be out of here before 4:30. I don't need to be here. But you got a bunch of dumbasses that run this this building and that work up front here and, and uh, we've already called out the women being masculine and trying to be combative and fight. It's just real simple. Simple stuff, right? Just follow the law. Everything's really sure what good. The, I'm not really sure what the record request was that you, you had requested. So. Well, I'm trying to, so there's an argument of whether I can verbalize it or not. The law clearly says we can. Just try, verbalize half of it. They took it, now they're all gone. He won't take it. So they're really in violation right now and they're opening up the school district to a lawsuit, which is stupid. I'm trying to explain this to them. May, they don't want to listen to me because I'm just a dumbass with the camera, right? Maybe if you guys tell them I won't have to sue the school district to get the public records, it's stupid. No, I, I hear and it's saying. a waste of time. I, 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 and it's our money. Yeah, it's the public's money. It ain't, it ain't their money or your money. No, and so it's just a huge waste of money. It's stupid. The, the, only, the only thing that I might uh, add in that is, although you may be able to make that uh, public records request, it doesn't require them to provide it to you rapidly or no no, no ten right? days they have ten days but they it does you can you want to go by me go ahead do you work here um i work at the middle school okay i don't need you um yeah they it, they have ten days to to and they can they, there's an extension in there They're, it gives them time for an extension i think five or ten extra days and then they have to comply so i get that but right now they have to take it or they're in violation that's what i'm saying they took some, but what they're not taking is that I want his. Uh, go ahead, I'll turn around, Jay. How about that? That what they're not, what they're not taking down is that I want his picture and her recording as well. Actually, when I said I wanted her recording, she said I ain't giving you anything. I'm gonna, I'll erase it. I said don't erase it. It's a public record. I'll erase it if I want. So on and so forth. So this is what we do. This is what we expose. We expose these attitudes. A the camera shouldn't matter. You guys have cameras. They didn't come in and say, hey, don't. Record me on right. your camera. No, I hear what you're saying. Uh, what, wow. what makes it to where she would have to forfeit uh, her recording? Because she's... she asked for she, you to forfeit your recording to her? I'm not a public servant. I don't have to. I'm not making a public record. She's here as, as well as him when he took the picture. They're on duty working for public on public tax dollars. That makes it a public record. They're taking it. They're, they don't do... You're not, they're not doing anything for themselves right now. They're doing it for the school district, what makes it a public record. So if they erase those, uh, I forget what the penal code is, but it's actually a misdemeanor crime for them to destroy public records. So, and with the lady threatening to do it, it's just, it's just super ignorant. It's easier to comply. You guys have been here and told them there's nothing we can do. He has every right to do it. At that point, we would think that the public... Employees would just comply and say, okay, he is right. Let's just do our job right and try to look good, but don't have to. I, I'm going to come back in 10 days and get it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I live out here, so now. That's awesome. Yep. Where did you uh, where did you move from? You don't have to like tell me like specifics or anything. I understand you want to be private. But oh, all over. Mostly, mostly California or just all over, the, all over the country? All over the world, man. Really? Yep, want to hear me speak Chinese? Yeah, it's just it, it. Like I said, they should just comply now. Instead, we have him who sits out here and goes, "I'll just sit out here and ignore this dude and make the whole office look bad and myself." And it's fine. I mean, they're helping me right now. They're literally giving. They're letting me expose them for what they are and what they're doing. So I love it. You know what I mean? It's just fine with me. What was the? Do you mind if I ask what the? Public records request was that you, that you asked for? Yeah, so all of their first and last names, work hours, work days, salary, mm -hmm. um, as well as any phone numbers they have provided by the school district. So like personal cell phones. Employee, personal cell phones or employee? Employee, like provided cell phones from yeah, the like school a, district. Like a, yep. Issued, a, 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 a agency issued. Correct, device. correct. Okay. Yeah, and then the, the public record that he took and the public record she took. I got you. Um, that definitely seems like something that would be like take them some time to get, you know, if not all the employees. Yeah, are here right now. like I said, they got 10 days. They got 10 days and there's an extension. I believe it's a five day extension, but it might be a 10 day extension. So, yeah, real simple. Um, 
it's 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 not hard, but it seems like it's they could just can't do their job. Well, like I said, it, this is this is an ego thing. It happens a lot with law enforcement as well. Guys, just you. Yours. I'm asking for records that you guys have to do. I'm simply just asking for you guys to do your job. Have you asked me. I, I've asked you several times. Yes. So, so how am I? I said, sir, can you? Are you going to take my public record request? And you sat there and ignored me. But right now, your wheels are turning. Going, oh shit, he's right. I'm looking like a dumbass. I better just do my job, right? No, that's and I'm not calling you a dumbass. I'm just saying you're looking like a dumbass. Well, tell me what's on your mind. I, I don't know you from Adam. So in. In six minutes, you and I will be done. Awesome. But what about tomorrow? Um, tomorrow's Saturday. I doubt or Monday. What about Monday? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually pretty busy, and, and I don't really have anything to do with that. And so I think. So can we get somebody here that does so I can be gone? But I can be gone before your six crazy. minutes. Like, you know, you insulting me and calling me a dumbass and other various I, things. I'm just saying you guys are acting that way. And I, I made it clear I'm not calling you a dumbass. I wouldn't yeah, insult I, you for you no know, reason. I don't talk to other adults like that, but what I would do if I were to, oh. hypothetically speaking, if you wanted something, I would probably either email it or write it down or, or, that, that, or get it. Or get it, give it verbally like the law says we I, can I, I do. Know, but, but what's your point? Are, to, to, to have you guys actually do your job. Are you flexing? Okay, but yeah. what I'm saying. I am absolutely flexing my rights. Yes, yeah, okay. I am. I but, am. And I want you guys to I, uphold I think, them. I think you probably get a lot further if, if you wanted to make a request. See, this so, is so the this part is of the problem. This is the part no, of the no, problem. No, no, no. Go, go, it, tell me, go ahead. It's your approach. You know, see, that's the problem. If you guys don't like someone's here, approach like, like or you guys... I do, at a minimum, I, I can give you a piece of paper and a pen and then you can... Yeah, write, write it down for me. Go ahead. No, I, I, I'm you not... That's what I'm saying. Side. Yes, you guys are. You guys have to. That's the okay. law. Okay. See, this is the problem. When you don't like the approach or you guys don't like the camera or you don't like what somebody's doing, you say, well, you would... That's not the thing. You guys are paid to do this. Literally, we pay taxes for you to do this, whether you like it or not. You bite your tongue and you do it. That's it. And that's exactly why, partly, there's a lot of reasons. That's partly why we do this, to show what you guys do and the way you guys acted. <laughs> Earlier, the public defender tried to slam my fingers in the, in the door. Do you think that was a good idea for them? I really can't comment. I know. Well, well, it'll, it'll be put out, but it's, it's, this, is, this is why we do this, because there's issues with public servants. It, there's been a switch. You guys now think you're the boss, and you're not. There's laws. We all follow them. Just do your job based on the law. That's yeah. it. Okay. That's all it, that we ask. And if, and if that happens, like I went in their department earlier, if that happens, then everything's fine. There was no problem in their department. They asked me if I needed anything. I did it from them, and I was gone. Right. Notice how we're here a long time because you guys acted this way. Real simple. Okay, so did you want to take my public records request? I'll ask you again if you can write it down. I think they have half of it, okay. so the next part's pretty easy. So I, I, I guess you can come back in 10 days and get it if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, but I have to get verbalize it to you and, so, and so make sure you, you, you guys have here, it. So you made the request to someone else. I'm not done. Uh, See, again, he's trying not to do his job. His ego <laughs> won't let him is the problem. And, and me, call, me saying, acting like a, I, I come from a construction background. We talk, we're thick skinned. We talk to each other like that. So it's nothing personal. That's just how we talk. Hey, dumbass, hit it with your purse. We say it like that all the time. Yeah. So, well, so it, excuse me if I'm a little rough around the edges for you. That's okay. You, got uh, you know, time to work on that. it is what it is. So anyways. So, I, so just because I don't know, I'm just sitting here because I got to take care of the front office. So you're have, refusing to take the any, public records request. I don't have anything to do with it, and mm -hmm. so you didn't make the request to me. And even if you did make the so request it's still, to me, it's I can't still his give ego. it to you because I don't have access to that information. I know, but you pass it on and you get it to the person that so does, and then they do the process, and that's what the law says. Email it. So again, they don't want to abide by the law. Real simple. I'll tell you what, you want? You, I can help you. I I, I I come up with solutions. If you want. I can turn on a recorder and then you can tell me so I don't have to write it down. That's fine with me too. Okay. As long as I convert, I just, I'm just going to verbalize it. Got it. Easy okay. as that, bro. And then so, keep in mind that you are making a public record when you turn on the yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am going to request that as well. That, that's okay, cool. Uh, you know oh, now we're getting somewhere. So it was the writing it that you didn't want to do. I can, I can verbalize it all day. We're ready. All right. I want your first and last name. Work days, work hours, your salary, all three of the ladies that were in here, the same for them, I'm not as well as, we are, but 
but <laughs> well you saw the people that were in here you were standing in here all the ladies that were in here when you were in here as well i want all their same information as well as mr allen there um this lady that works here sarah let me see her name here sarah sarah Stratton or whatever her name is she was recording she made a public record i want that recording okay. i want your recording and your pictures sure i want any school district provided cell phones that you guys get i want the phone numbers to those i want a list of all your guys's emails that were out here the all the people i'm asking i want all the emails as well okay cool that's a start okay. i'll probably come back again and, and do some more so they, they, they didn't want to write it. I mean, we've seen what went on. What it's what pretty else? transparent. You, you, you like I said, that's it. So that's all I need for now. There will be more later. See, I told you I fixed problems, so I just fixed your problem. I so, know. It's weird. So, uh, so it's weird we had to argue about it. You know, I don't understand your perception. <laughs> and how passive aggressive you are. So would probably see that I was actually helping you. Awesome. So, so what, how well, exactly am I, the, supposed to, how am I supposed to get, can I talk for a second? Go ahead. How can I get this information to you? I'll come back for it. You'll come back yeah. to it? Okay. The beautiful thing is that the camera is the witness that don't lie. And then there's a big, what we call the court of public opinion. Yeah. And we'll just see what the people think about whether you were helping or refusing okay. or all that well, stuff. In, in three minutes, and so I, I it's to what, what I say all the time. I, and thank you. And what I say all the time is. You guys kind of laugh, like I see Alan and yeah, you wait, snickering. Wait, wait, wait oh, hold on, can I talk now? I see Alan's laughing. He thought that I didn't have a right to do any of this. You're snickering. You guys think it's funny. After this comes out, the amount of attention you guys are going to get from the public, when I come back in, I guarantee it'll be, yes, sir, no, sir, can I help you, sir? And you guys are going to realize how badly you messed up. All right? Right now, it's funny to you. You don't care. I'm an idiot with the camera. I get it. I don't mind it. It's fine with me. Just give me a week. We'll see. <laughs> so that's the funny part to me. That's the part I get amused by. Yeah, that's interesting. So hopefully these people right. just learn. I don't know what your interpretation of snickering is. I'm asking a question. I thought you were a little... Well, abrasive. you've been in here a while, right? So this is what I'm talking about. You seem a little abrasive because you're calling me a dumbass. Mm -hmm. and I didn't call you a dumbass. I, I said you guys are acting like dumbass. Is correct. I, I think in the court of public opinion, mm -hmm. you might be judged a little bit coming into a public office and calling people dumb. So that's just my personal opinion. Yeah, we'll gonna, see. I'm just going to interject here. It's 4:30. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see about that. Okay. Yeah. It, it'll be it'll be fun. I, I'll be back with you guys. Promise. Yep. yep. Four four thirty. I follow the law. So. Yep. All right. It is four thirty, and I always I just need one quick one of Allen for the thumbnail. There we go. Got it. All right. 4.30. Follow the laws. How's it going, man? Good, man. How you doing? Oh, it's another beautiful day. It's an awesome day. What took you guys so long? You're only down the street. Shit. <laughs>